Hi everybody, it's Miss Renee with another story time. And can you tell what this story time is all about today? Let's see. Hmm. I'm seeing lots and lots of animals on my board. Look, I've got an elephant. I have a monkey. I have a penguin and a giraffe. I have all kinds of animals, but these aren't the animals you find in your backyard. Well, at least I hope you don't find them in your backyard. That would be pretty alarming if you found an elephant in your backyard. We have to go to the zoo to see these animals. So that's what today's story time is all about. It's about a trip to the zoo. And if you look up here, you'll see the letter Z is the first letter in the word zoo. Can you hear the z sound? Zoo. And I also have another Z here with a little zebra. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started today. I thought what we could do is start with some bounce rhymes. Miss Mousy, are you ready for some bounce rhymes? Yes? Okay. Are you guys ready at home? Okay, moms and dads, gather round, grandmas and grandpas, babysitters and buddies, and let's do some bounce rhymes with the kids, okay? So let's start off with one of my favorites that Miss Whitney came up with all by herself because she's creative and it goes like this. What is in my pocket? What is in my pocket? It's a pocket full of tickles, a pocket full of tickles, a tickle here, a tickle there, a tickle, tickle everywhere. What is in my pocket? It's a pocket full of tickles, tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> I hope you guys got some good tickles out of that. That's a fun one. All right, let's do another one. This one was always a favorite with everybody when we did story times in person back in the day, which hopefully we'll be doing again soon. It's called A Peanut Sat on the Railroad Track. Are you ready? Here we go. Now you do the movements right along with me, okay? A peanut sat on the railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509. Woo woo! Peanut butter. <laughs> Let's do that one again and make sure you're doing all the gestures so that we can make peanut butter together. All right, here we go. A peanut sat on the railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509. Woo woo! Pull that cord for the train whistle. Peanut butter. Good job, good job, guys. I love that one. Okay, what else do we have? We haven't done this one for a long time. It's bumping up and down in my little red wagon. So you need to get on somebody's lap so they can do this with you. Miss Mousy, are you ready? Mm-hmm, she sure is. Here we go. We're bumping up and down in my little red wagon, bumping up and down in my little red wagon, bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Now there's another one that I want to do. I need to put Miss Mousy down and I'll need your help with this. I have on my board here, five little giraffes. And we're going to do a rhyme about our little giraffes. They're all in a bed together, okay? And it goes like this. There, wait, before I start, we should count our giraffes and make sure we have the right number of giraffes for this rhyme. I have one, two, three, four, five, five little giraffes. All right, so it's bedtime at the zoo and the giraffes have to go to bed, but they only have one bed. So here's what happens next. 
there were five in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one whoop fell out oh no now we have four little giraffes one two three four there were four in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out Woo! oh my how many do we have now one two three three little giraffes there were three in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out whoops uh-oh how many do we have now one two are you counting down with me i hope so okay are you ready there were two in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out whoops <gasps> how many giraffes are left just this little fellow there was one in the bed and the little one said ah, good night <laughs> he got the bed all to himself didn't he <laughs> Okay, so if you want to sing, I have another song and it's all about the animals at the zoo. So we're going to sing this. It's called The Critters at the Zoo and we're gonna sing it to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus, okay? The lions at the zoo go roar, 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 roar. The lions at the zoo go roar, 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 all through the zoo. And the snakes at the zoo go hiss, 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 hiss. The snakes at the zoo go hiss, 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 all through the zoo. And the hyenas at the zoo go ha, 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 ha. The hyenas at the zoo go ha, 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 all through the zoo. And the fish at the zoo go splish, splash, splish, splish, splash, splish, splish, splash, splish. The fish at the zoo go splish, splash, splish, all through the zoo. And the roos. Now, what's a roo, I wonder? I bet a roo is short for a kangaroo, right? The roos at the zoo go boing, 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 boing. The roos at the zoo go boing, boing, boing all through the zoo and then finally the kids at the zoo go look at that look at that look at that the kids at the zoo go look at that all through the zoo <laughs> i hope you enjoyed our zoo song and i wonder we're gonna take this down i wonder if you would like to see what I have in my bag today. My gosh, it could be almost anything since we're doing zoo critters today. Let's check this out and just see what's there. Hmm. Oh, I have two little zebras. Zebras are some of my favorite zoo animals. Aren't they cute? I like their little stripes and their little manes. Hello. Hello. I think I have a rhyme about these zebras. Let me just see. Pretty sure I do. It's kind of hard to get this uh, unattached with a zebra on my hand, but I'm gonna do my best. I shall persevere. Here we go. Okay, so this is all about opposites. Our little zebras are going to teach us some opposite words. Can you help them? Here we go. Two little zebras sitting at the zoo. One so happy and one so blue. Hmm. Run away happy. Da, 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 da. 
Run away, Blue. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Come back, Happy. Da, 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 da. Come back, Blue. Ooh, I'm so blue. And play together back at the zoo. Two little zebras playing in their room. One so slow and the other just zooms. All right, run away slow. <laughs> wow, he really is slow, isn't he? Run away, zoom, zoom! Wow, zoom is so fast. Come back slow. Come on, slow. Come back, zoom! Oh my goodness! And play together in your room. Two little zebras under the clouds. One so soft. And the other so loud! Run away, soft. Run away loud. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Come back soft. Come back loud. Da, 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 da. And run around together under the cloud. <laughs> that was fun. It sure was. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you little zebras for teaching us opposites. That was very helpful. Okay, I have three books to read to you today. I love them all. And since we just did opposites with our little zebras, let's go ahead and start a book called The Opposite Zoo by Il Sung Na. And I love the illustrations in this book too. And remember, moms and dads, all of the books that we read at story time are available here at the library for you to have your own story times at home. Okay. The sky is dark and the opposite zoo is closed, but the monkey's door is open. Time to explore. Uh-oh. Awake, says the owl. Asleep. Oh, our polar bear is quite as, oh no, it's a panda. It's a panda bear. Hairy, that is a very hairy lion. Bald. That's a very bold hippo. These are some good opposites. And look guys, can you see the little monkey peering down into the water to see the hippo? It's a brave monkey. Tall, short. <laughs> Shy, bold. Do you know what this is? It's a peacock. If you've ever seen a peacock in person, you'll know they have beautiful tails that they spread out and they're just gorgeous. This little lizard's pretty cute too though. Soft and prickly. The hedgehog is very prickly. The tiger has very soft fur. The monkey had better be careful the tiger doesn't turn around and see him there. Black and white. Black seals and white swans. <laughs> slow. That's our little sloth. And fast. That's the cheetah. I think the cheetah is the fastest of all the big cats. Noisy, 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 noisy. Shh, quiet. It doesn't get much quieter than a turtle. The sun is bright. The animals are ready. The monkey's door closes just in time. For the opposite zoo, to open. I would love to go to this zoo. It looks so pretty. Okay. I really like this book and it's a lot of fun to read to your kids. 
and they can help you pick all the details out in all the pictures. Okay, so I have another song to sing. If you would like to sing another song with me, this is to the tune of She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. And it's uh, all about zoo animals. So this is called The Zoo. You can hear the lions roaring at the zoo. Can you roar for me? Roar, roar. You can hear the lions roaring at the zoo. Roar, roar. You can hear the lions roaring. You can hear the lions roaring. You can hear the lions roaring at the zoo. Roar, roar. All right, now we're gonna do monkeys squeaking. Can you make a good monkey noise? This is my monkey noise. So you try one. Pretty good. All right. You can hear the monkeys squeaking at the zoo. You can hear the monkeys squeaking at the zoo. You can hear the monkeys squeaking. You can hear the monkeys squeaking. You can hear the monkeys squeaking at the zoo. All right, and now we've got the zebras neighing. Can you neigh? Neigh, neigh. Let's try that. You can hear the zebras neighing at the zoo. Neigh, neigh. You can hear the zebras neighing at the zoo. Neigh, neigh. You can hear the zebras neighing. You can hear the zebras neighing. You can hear the zebras neighing at the zoo. Neigh, neigh. Very good, guys. All right, now. Kangaroos hopping. Should we say boing boing? Let's do that. You can hear the kangaroos hopping at the zoo. Boing boing. You can hear the kangaroos hopping at the zoo. Boing boing. You can hear the kangaroos hopping. You can hear the kangaroos hopping. You can hear the kangaroos hopping at the zoo. Boing boing. Very good. All right, now I need some help with this one. Miss Mousy, I'm gonna let you do this one too. This is, you can hear the elephant stomping. So you've got to get up on your feet. Are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Mousy? Okay, here we go. You can hear the elephant stomping at the zoo. Stomp, stomp. You can hear the elephant stomping at the zoo. Stomp, stomp. You can hear the elephant stomping. You can hear the elephant stomping. You can hear the elephant stomping at the zoo. Stomp, stomp. Oh, I hope you guys did your best stomping. All right, now. We're going to do just two more animals, and then the last one you should be really good at. This one is you can hear the croc splashing, crocodile splashing. Here we go. You can hear the croc splashing at the zoo, splash, splash. You can hear the croc splashing at the zoo, splash, splash. You can hear the croc splashing, you can hear the croc splashing, you can hear the croc splashing at the zoo. Splash, splash. We'll do one last one with our big jaws. All right, and now the bear's snoring. Let me hear your best snores. All right, here we go. You can hear the bear snoring at the zoo. You can hear the bear snoring at the zoo. You can hear the bear snoring. You can hear the bear snoring. You can hear the bear snoring at the zoo. Good snores. And the last one, you can hear the children laughing at the zoo. Ha ha ha! You can hear the children laughing at the zoo. Ha ha ha! You can hear the children laughing. You can hear the children laughing. You can hear the children laughing at the zoo. Ha ha ha! All right. Good job, guys. I hope you liked that one. Now, I'm going to read. I have two more books and I really would like to read them both. So I'm gonna go a little more quickly now and I want to read Octopus Followed Me Home. And this is by Dan, I think it's pronounced Yaccarino. And if I'm wrong, hopefully Dan will never see this video and he won't have his feelings hurt. Okay. An octopus followed me home today, one that I promised to love. He looks very lovable, doesn't he? Can we keep him? Can he stay? I'll teach him to sleep in the tub. Hmm. I'd like to remind you, my daddy said, of all the pets I let you keep. Oh my, she's got a whole room full of pets. Like the crocodile who lives under my bed and won't let me get any sleep. 
or that pesky seal who floats about, so I can't even swim in my pool. And the long-necked giraffe who sticks his head out whenever you go off to school. She's got some amazing pets, doesn't she? Then there's the grizzly bear we took in. I hope he keeps hibernating. <laughs> And what about those penguins? They all need refrigerating. Not to mention those mountain goats who haven't come down since May. <laughs> uh oh, they're eating the roof. But it's those rabbits I hate the most. They multiply every day. That is a lot of rabbits. This morning, I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought it must be a mirage, when all of a sudden I realized I now had a two elephant garage. Mm. Now this is too much, Dad said. No more. You return that octopus right now. That's the last pet to come through this door. Not another rhino, tiger, or cow. We waved goodbye and felt so sad. He seemed so lost and alone. But he'll be okay, and I don't feel too bad since another pet followed me home. Oh my goodness, I think it's a dinosaur. I bet her dad isn't gonna like that very much. <laughs> I love that book. Um, and remember, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, Rhyming books are wonderful books to share with your children because it helps them with all of those pre-reading skills that we want our preschoolers to get in their brains. Rhyming words help them anticipate uh, what word is coming next, which is a really important reading skill. Also, it's just fun. This last book is called Good Night Gorilla by Peggy Rathman. This is a favorite of mine. Good night, gorilla. Uh-oh, oh my. <laughs> Good night, elephant. I don't think he knows the gorilla has his keys. Good night, lion. Oh my. Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe. Do you see the little mousie? He's carrying a banana with him. Good night, armadillo. Do you think the zookeeper should turn around and see what's following him? I don't think he's noticed. Oh my, little mousie with the banana. All getting tucked in for the night. Ooh, good night, dear. <laughs> good night. 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 <laughs> Ooh, oh my. Okay, and now he's <laughs> taking them back. Yep, tucking them all in. Good night, zoo. Good night, dear. Good night. Good night, gorilla. <laughs> that I look. So I just have one more thing to um, share with you today. And that is an idea for a game that you can do at home with your whole family. And I've got little cards here, but you can make up your own. You can come up with whatever wild ideas you want to for zoo animals. And it just says things like climb like a koala. And so you pretend to climb like a koala or drink like an elephant. And you put your trunk down and bring it up and drink. Or 
run like a cheetah. And you run as fast as you can. Hop like a kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing. Chomp like an alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Or scratch like a monkey. Eep, 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 eep. Now you can come up with your own at home and you can have little cards if you wanna make cards, but this is a great imaginative game that you can play where the kids get to be the animals at the zoo and they get some exercise too. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was so happy to do a story time for you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.